Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the difference between martial arts and self-defense. And a lot of people ask me, can I use my martial arts for self-defense? Isn't it the same thing? And actually it's not. The way I see it, there's only two kinds of street attacks, two kinds of situations where you may be in danger. The first one, you saw the fight coming. You know what's going on. The second one, you didn't see the fight coming. And those are really the two only options. Everything else, even does he have a weapon or how many people, I think everything is irrelevant. You always treat, you always treat a threat the way you would if you knew there was a weapon. So you always expect a knife or something. So then your situational awareness is very high. So what's the difference between the two? If you saw the fight coming, someone is you know, slapping people on the street or harassing a woman or anything and you decide to act or the danger comes to you from a distance, then yes, you can use your martial arts. You can really put yourself into the mindset that you have when you train in the dojo and extend it to the way that you're going to be in a self-defense street defense situation. The second option is when you didn't see the fight coming. Then I have to be really honest with you guys. Your martial arts skills are completely inefficient. Not because your martial arts skills are not good, but simply because it's impossible for your brain under a high level of stress to go pick up skills into the box where you put them when you train at the dojo. So it's basically two different parts of the brain. When you are surprised, you're scared, the adrenaline flows super high, someone attacks you, your natural reflex will be this. You're gonna flinch and you're gonna step away, get away from the danger. In no way, if you're surprised, you're gonna be able to block and counter and do your thing. Very, very few people will, will have the ability to do that. So most likely, if someone surprised attack you, you're gonna find yourself here. So we need to find a system, a method, where you can really tap into your reptilian brain and be able to defend yourself from a very un martial art like position. So basically, that's the main difference. Your martial arts is very good, very efficient. If you train hard enough and if you use a lot of uh, stress drills, it's very good for you if you saw the fight coming. If you didn't, your brain, your cognitive functions will not work well enough for you to go get the information into your brain and use the technique that you've learned. So it's very important to train in a very short distance, high stress, completely surprised, out of nowhere attacks, method of self-defense.